In today's video, we're gonna be testing out CodeBuff, which is a brand new CLI code editor, and I just wanted to see how good it was. So it should be quite easy to install. So let's just do npm install dash D CodeBuff. And then I believe we just write CodeBuff here, like that. And then that should start everything. So we're gonna be using our standard benchmark, which you can find on my school community or just in various places online for free. So if I just go to my classroom, all my prompts and workflows, grab this prompt here, press enter to finish logging in. Okay, continue with GitHub. So we should be logged into CodeBuff in just a second. There we go. Now let's just exit out quickly. And let's run the install command. So yes, 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 yes on here. And then normally I would add images, but I'm not going to add images for this one. We'll just see what it does uh, without any images. I'm just curious to see if it's good enough to create SVGs and things. So we'll grab the prompt here. We'll write code buff again, and then make SVGs for images where needed. And then we'll send the entire prompt. I look like it got split. Let's have a look. Let's see how it deals with this. So sub goal. Create multilingual luxury car rental service. Spawn agents, file picker, file picker, file picker. Okay, good. So this is pretty interesting. It is definitely kind of a Claude code based system. Let me read the key files. Okay, this is pretty good so far. I like the way that it's doing this. I like the fact that it spawns various agents. Let's see here. Let me create the public directory structure and start building the luxury car rental website. Okay, thinking deeply, interesting. So you get 500 credits every month for free with this. So, I mean, that's not terrible. If you go on pricing here, you'll see it's $1, no, sorry, one cent per credit, and you get $5 of credit every single month for free. So it's not bad at all. Let's see if we can see our usage. There we go, my usage. Okay, so already I've used 25 credits, which is quite a lot considering it hasn't actually done anything yet. But okay, it looks like it's going to be running out pretty damn quickly, I have to say. Now the pricing here is definitely pretty crazy. <clears throat> if I've already used 25 credits and hasn't even started yet, uh, then 1,000 is not going to actually get you that much, to be honest with you. I will just let this run, though. I I'm a little bit worried about the usage here, whether it's even going to be able to create one single project with um, this amount of tokens. But if not, I guess I can buy some more tokens if needs be. It does seem to be doing a pretty interesting job here. It seems to be going pretty quickly as well, I have to say. So yeah, we'll let this run and we'll be back shortly. Just before we continue, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, which is of course me. You can get seogrove.ai, which is a Shopify automation platform, soon to be Shopify and WordPress. You can use the code waitlist three months to get 80% off your first three months. We're doing a starter offer. Um, the waitlist will be going off in probably about a week. So if you do want to lock in that price, check out SEO Grove, sign up today, join the waitlist, we'll charge your card and you can join with the waitlist three months if your card is successfully charged. Now I have to say, oh, I have to say, it actually seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. Um, I do like the way that it's doing this. I don't like the fact that if I type anything, it stops the process. So I do have to be careful of that. Yeah, SEO Grove, by the way, will be the first link in the description on also the pinned comment. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting process. So now it's spawned a new agent, which is a reviewer. Review the complete luxury car rental website application. Nitpicker. First, I'll run the okay. No file change hooks were triggered. High level feedback. Overall structure is fantastic. Okay, good. Let's see if that actually picks up the issues and fixes them before we get errors. That would be a game changer. That would officially make this better than Claude Code, which is not really something that I thought I would be saying. So it looks like it's reviewed. The reviewer preferred excellent feedback. Let's see, this will produce links like this, which are more explicit. You will also need to update the links pointing to this page. Okay. So I found some interesting changes. The file creates the service segment. You can also accidentally match services, leading to URL like services. Well, okay, interesting, very interesting. 
Okay, so this says it's done. It says it used 224 credits. So let's just open up a new one here and do npm run dev. Okay, cd my app, uh, npm run dev. Okay, so it does run. Let's see if it works, because obviously that's the more important thing here. Just ignore that, that's just me making the thumbnail for this video. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Um, hmm. The home page is just the standard SGS page, not the website. Let's just see what happens if we manually add slash yen here. Oh, shit, okay. This is actually really, really well done. Damn. Now, obviously, there's a few problems with this already. I knew that there would be some 404s. Yeah, more 404s. But yeah, I mean, the home page looks incredible. This also looks good. There's no problems with colors, which is nice. I would say that this is a very, very standard uh, bootstrap project, which I'm not that impressed by. And there are a lot of 404 errors here. But... I would say it does look very, very good, and it also looks different, which is something that it, we kind of struggle to find, really. Okay, but I mean, overall, this looks fantastic. I'm very, very impressed with the look and feel of this. I know that it looks very... Like, I, I would say that this part looks amazing. Further down, it looks a bit more bootstrappy, but let's see if the Italiano works. It does. Okay, beautiful. It's just a bit of a shame that it didn't finish everything off before it told me that it was finished. Um, I would have loved to see a complete project here. Okay, so it's added the locations. I just asked it to add them. It's pretty much done now. I still think this could be a little bit more comprehensive, but in terms of like the actual build, it's done a very, very good job. I'm pretty impressed with the result here. Um, I still think it could do more, but I, you know, I always think that. But overall, I mean, this is this is definitely on par with Claude Code or Codex or whatever in terms of building, and it hasn't had anywhere near as many issues with colors, for example. There's a lot of light on light or dark on dark. You can see it's using ChatGPT5 or Anthropic because they all use this little scrolling animation thing. I don't know why, but they all add the same scrolling animation thing, every single one. But yeah, I mean, I would definitely give this a high mark. It's definitely impressed me here. You can see now it's, it's done. Um, this is kind of the entire website. Let's just quickly check the SEO. So yeah, the SEO has also been done. I mean, this is very, very impressive to be honest with you. I did have to prompt it one more time just to get what I wanted. But yeah, overall, this is a fantastic result. This is definitely an interesting one to look out for. That was possibly the quickest I've ever done this as well, to be honest with you. That was extremely fast. I like the fact that it checks its own code as well. And this is definitely one for... What, this is definitely one that is worth your time, guys. However, this is the problem right here. 81 credits remaining. Consider topping up soon. That is a little bit annoying. I'm not a big fan of that. But yeah, I mean, obviously, they have to make money at the end of the day. I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. Check out SEO Grove. Check out the school community. Check out Bright Data. Thanks for watching. You're all legends, and peace out.